Hey, welcome to the Wing Chun Kid channel. Today I'm going to show you knife defense. Three techniques against co knife. Three techniques against three common knife attacks that you encounter on the street. Here we go. Hey, so here's the first technique. Very common attack in uh, the street is just this one. Okay. Now, not it's not like in the movies. People present the knife, but oh, here's the knife and then they attack. They most likely they're going to start from the hip, draw from their back pocket and just attack. So we're going to base our defense on just the holy shit technique, okay? Um, this is better, but in reality, people usually attack at nighttime and it's going to be in a surprise situation, it's going to be an ambush and your most natural reaction is what? Holy shit, okay? So use that holy shit reaction and we're gonna work off of that so let's say attack is coming right holy shit so get your belly out of the way get it out of the way because the target is your belly and then just use this V to block it okay get hold of it now I'll show you what to do if you can't get a hold of it but get hold of it and swing in a baseball bat so baseball bat that way all right from here you open up this space you're gonna come in and then grab the elbow so it'll be hard for him to move the knife. And it's quite safe here. You can't really do anything with the knife. At the same time, you can hit him in the balls, or if you farther back and hit him in the chest, anything, just keep going for the balls, okay? Now, sometimes he goes downwards, but this time, let's say he comes back up, like he doesn't bend down that much, go for the claw, and that's all that I showed you in another video. So your thumb goes in here, and your other fingers go here. So you're grabbing the whole windpipe, all right? Step off to an angle, 45 degrees this way. Step back on his knee for his takedown. Punch him, maybe he doesn't let go. Right, he's gonna loosen up a little bit, punch. Or drop your knee on his ribs here. Then grab this one and then do a circle to strip the knife. From there, stomp, walk away, check your flanks. Keep the knife here nice and close so nobody can grab it from you. Okay, so that is the first technique. Let me show it to you step by step again. All right, so let me show you step by step how to do this. So first is knife. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so notice I said knife when I realized that I'm a knife. What that does is it lets everybody else around you know that it's a knife attack. A lot of times you can't even see the knife. People don't even know it's a knife attack. So you can get people helping you out or calling the police. Another thing it does when you say knife is it gets your head in the right, right mindset that it is a life or death situation. And it programs you to gear up to the next level of, uh, of force that you need to do in order to survive this knife attack. So hope that helps you. We'll go on to the next technique. Hey, here's the second technique for knife defense. <laughs> So that's the second technique, common side slash, very common on the street. We'll show you how to defend against that right now. All right, the second technique is against a side slash like this. So a slide slash is coming. First of all, you want to get out of the circle of the slash. You don't want to go this way because this is into the slash. So you want to go this way, away from the slash. All right, the second thing you want to do is to block it with any part of this here as a wedge to block this. At the same time, strike at the throat, fingertips, on the throat, or to the eyes, or it could be to the chin, or it could be just a punch, doesn't matter. I like doing the finger because you get more reach and it makes them choke a little bit, like that. Number three, same as the first technique, we're gonna grab this and deliver knees. Okay, if he blocked, that's okay, because he's worrying about that now and not about this. Okay, same takedown, we're gonna grab the throat, push it down, step to, to an angle, and do a kick. Same thing, we're gonna drop our knee down here, keep grip here, of the knife and then do a circle okay and like that strip it stomp again check your flanks move back hey so here is the second technique in slow motion step by step so we got one if you can grab it great if you can't you can just do that one two three four five if you don't have the knife great six if you got the knife Step on it first, then check. Now you can't grab it when I step on it. Kick him in the face, then pick it up when it's clear. And check your flames again. Hey, here's the third self-defense thing. Hey, defense. give me your money. Okay, okay, I'll give it to you right now. Okay, 
that's the third technique. Very common, someone to hold a knife to your back, asking and robbing you. So I'll show you how to do that right now. Hey, here's the instruction on the third technique. So somebody is coming up behind you, you don't know what, what's happening, right? And you feel the knife. So if he doesn't have the knife, you can look back. You want to actually move back so that you can feel the knife on your back first. So you want to feel the knife and you want to see uh, where he is a little bit. And then you want to say, okay, I'll give you my mutt knee in the middle of the sentence. Then you do the technique. So from here, I can turn this way or this way. But in this case, I'm just going to turn this way. I got this here. Do the throat, palm, punch, doesn't matter. Eyes, doesn't matter. And then from here, I'm going to do the same thing. Grab here, do the knees, just like the other two techniques. And then from here, grab the throat, step onto, a, onto his uh, back corner, kick out the knee, keep the knife, and then strip it. If, he's keep, if he holds it hard, right, he won't let me go, just knee him. Drop your knee on his ribs, He'll gonna, he's gonna let go, okay? And then twist it out. And check your flanks. So that's the third technique. Let me show you how to do that step by step. So you're just hanging out, and then there's someone trying to take your money. Okay, first of all, you want to back up into the knife a little bit. It's not going to hurt you, but you want to feel where the knife is. So that's preliminary step. Okay, step one is turn and grab in the arm and do a throat or a, a strike to the head. That's one. Number two, get hold of this arm and deliver knees. Number three, get hold of the throat, step onto angle and do a takedown. Number four, if he drops the knife, Great, kick it all the way. Drop this on his ribs. Okay. And then five, you're already out and checking your flanks. So practice that, count the numbers, and you'll get good at it. Hey, so I just showed you three techniques against three common knife attacks. We got the low attack, we got the slash, and the knife behind the back. So I hope that you can use those techniques. Now, notice that a lot of the techniques I'm using is the same for all three of the attacks. So when you're practicing, don't try to learn a hundred techniques. Just find a handful of them that work for you and just keep using the same one. All right, so uh, stay safe on the street because one out of five attackers are carrying knives or weapons. So you need to know how to defend yourself. And you need to also make sure you call out knife whenever you see the knife or notice that it is a knife situation. Or even when the guy starts to put their hand behind their back, you can say knife right away. It'll just change your mindset and let everybody know around you that it's a knife attack. And then you'll probably get some help or at least someone will call, uh, call the police. So stay safe on the street. We'll see you soon in the next video.